my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. From this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. friend. My sword is called Greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Dirty long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Seeger. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Valka <laughs> Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> Hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer band. 
You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You're just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees. the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes? Can you show us to get the can stones we stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. forever I am pledged to you <laughs> hearken well in hall of kings on ocean steed my words gain wings oh then speed I forth will bring a noble deeds that on us sing the brave men slain, Valkyria waits. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horns. For those who fight! For those who fight! Ready yourself, men! Not you, Paper. Not just yet. Curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Yes. 
up to a fate. Die a coward here before your people. And I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron! Pick up your axe! modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. Chasing me, Wolf Kissed. Seventeen winters. Eighteen. Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver! Uh, to the ship! Uh. You move? And I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south! 
We can tack north, then cut west. Now what did I just tell you? <laughs> land is under Kjotve's lash, we will live like Jarls. It will not happen while Ravenclan lives. They fight like berserkers. Eivor Wolfkist killed a score or more single-handed. Ha! Eivor now tastes the slaver's whip. 
And with Prince Sigurd likely lost at sea, the Ravens... <laughs> Clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Thank you, old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotwe tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davals Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. crawl through Arvel's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. Survey the area sooner.
longhouse. The crew should be inside. There should be an opening in the roof. Squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven sh shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Won't take long. I will sell you to hell herself. <laughs> Neo Wolfkist, I spare your life. Shut your hole and fight. <laughs> Die, you sack of shit. should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No!
Eivor, are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. leads us home. Course, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Run up, Cassel! Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is that to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them.
will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. Sails! Catch the wind! Let the sail out! And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Jotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Well, well, the feeder of ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Randri. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned, but we killed many of Kyotve's warriors, and there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? 
Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies, of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor! Eivor! Cuff kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. 
Lower. My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. Must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Valka? Hush! I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been... What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, 
Let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Have you used this sort of magic before? I have no fear. It was not my satyr that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Javi! Javi! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sing it! This was not for you, Javi.
Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Dance. I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I saw Odin and the Nornir.